Strokes are one of the leading causes of death, but when I talk to my patients at the clinic about how to protect themselves from a stroke, they're often surprised by a significant yet overlooked risk factor that's really easy to fix, and they're even more intrigued when I tell them that it's to do with a mineral deficiency. Strokes come in two forms. We've got ischemic strokes, which is when blood flow to the brain is blocked, so about 87% of strokes are ischemic. Then there are hemorrhagic strokes, so this is when a blood vessel in the brain it bursts, and when that happens, it causes the brain to swell, and that increased pressure damages our brain cells. High blood pressure is a key risk factor for both of those types of strokes. It's estimated that about 51% of stroke deaths are linked to it, and a meta-analysis that included 61 studies and involved over 1 million adults found that the risk of dying from a stroke doubled for every 20-point rise in blood pressure. And most of my patients, they aren't aware of that profound link between blood pressure and strokes. But here's the good news. There's a simple fix that's to do with a mineral deficiency that can often make a massive difference when it comes to blood pressure. So what's the deficient nutrient? It's potassium. So before going on blood pressure medications, it's critical to get potassium right because you might not need medications. So a meta-analysis pulled together the results of 22 randomized controlled trials, and the researchers discovered that increased potassium intakes reduced systolic blood pressure by about 3.5 units on average. So systolic blood pressure is the higher number that you'll see when you get your blood pressure measured. And look at what happened when potassium intake reached above 3,500 milligrams. The reduction in blood pressure was an amazing 7 units. But how do we translate that into an impact on our stroke risk? Well, according to a large meta-analysis, reducing our blood pressure by about 10 points cuts the risk of stroke by 27%. And then there's a meta-analysis of studies on potassium intake and stroke risk. So the lowest risk was at a daily intake of about 3,500 milligrams, and compared to a lower intake of 1,100 milligrams, there was a striking 33% difference in the risks of stroke. And that's really important results because